solve for x. If 2 raised to the power s multiplied by 3 raised to the power x square is equal to 6, we want to know the value of x. Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of s from this given exponential equation. 2 raised to the power s multiplied by 3 raised to the power s square is equal to 6. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have 2 raised to the power s multiplied by 3 raised to the power s square to be equal to 6. So this implies that 2 raised to the power s multiplied by 3 raised to the power s square equal to 2 raised to 6 can be expressed as 2 multiplied by 3. Then this implies that we have 2 raised to the power s multiplied by 3 raised to the power s square will be equal to what? 2 raised to the power 1 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 1 because 2 times 2, two is the same thing as 2 raised to the power 1 and 3 is the same thing as 3 raised to the power 1. Then this implies that by we have 2 raised to the power s let's see over 2 raised to the power 1 because this is 2 and this is base 2 then will be equal to 3 raised to the power 1 over 3 raised to the power s square. Now, this can be rewrite as we have 2 raised to the power s minus 1 will be equal to 3 raised to the power 1 minus s square. Let's take the log of both sides. This implies that we have log 2 raised to the power s minus 1 is be equal to what? Log 3 raised to the power 1 minus s square. Now, let's consider, let's use base 3. 3, base 3. So, this implies that we have s minus 1 log 2 base 3 will be equal to what? 1 minus s square log 3 base 3. Then log 3 base 3, this is cancelled, which is 1. Huh? This implies that we have s minus 1 log 2 base 3 to be equal to 1 minus s square multiplied by what? 1. This implies that we have x minus 1 log 2 base 3 to be equal to 1 minus s square. Because if you multiply the whole of this by 1, it's going to give you 1 minus s square. This implies that we have s minus 1 log 2 base 3. Then if you bring minus s square to the other side become plus s square. Then plus 1. If it come to the other side, be minus 1 equal to 0. We've just equate everything to 0. Now, this implies that from here, this one is s square minus 1. It's also 1 square. So that is different of 2 square. This can be expressed as s minus 1 log 2 base 3 plus s plus 1 into s minus 1 equal to 0. Something is common. s minus 1 is common. We, we can factor it out. This implies that we have s minus 1 into, we are left with log 2 base 3 plus s plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, therefore, s minus 1 equal to 0. Then, 
S is equal to what? 1. Or we have log 2 base 3 plus S plus 1 equal to 0. Now let's make S the subject of the formula. This implies that we have S to be equal to minus log 2 base 3 minus 1. This implies that we have S to be equal to minus into log 2 base 3 minus 1 and plus 1. It will not be plus 1 because we factor minus out. Then this implies that we have S to be equal to minus into log 2 base 3 plus 1. I rewrite that. But 1 is equal to what? Log 3 base 3. Then this implies that we have S to be equal to minus into log 2 base 3 plus log 3 base 3. Then S will now be equal to what? In one of the law of logarithm, when you add up, you multiply. So we have minus into two log 2 times log 3. If you got to what? Log 6 base 3. Therefore, our final answer is S is equal to what? Minus log 6 base 3. Then we have the value of S to be what? S is equal to 1 and minus log C is base 3. If you've enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.